Alright, so this new post-apocalyptic movie run by kids seems to be delayed longer than the Carter 5 because the, none of the producers uh, got the memo that this ended like three years ago. It's yet again another one of those movies where the kids are the only ones who can save the world. They always look like Disney Channel models even though they haven't showered in weeks. And this one actually has Rue from The Hunger Games who's given her everything, everything to be the lead. Even if it didn't work for me. It takes a little from the X-Men since these kids all seem to have superpowers. And considering that babies just stop being born in this timeline, they kind of try to take a little bit of uh, Children of Men and make a, make a version for kids. Which is really ironic. Let me explain. So Ruby is this girl who gets picked up by Mandy Moore who's out to rescue her and takes a walk with her. Which anyone would be happy to remember, but then this girl just dips. She runs into the most diversely cast set of individuals who all have their own powers. This guy clearly saw Chronicle. This girl with the Doctor Strange gloves is motion shock. And this guy literally says he wears glasses because he's a smart guy. Even even though that's not how that works. Actually, none of the costumes in this movie actually make any sense. There is a scene where this chick randomly comes out in a prom dress for no reason. So besides the fact that Forever 21 is showcasing their fall line a little early in this movie, you got these kids on the run because the whole government's after them because they want to test them and use them as subjects. Freaking Brienne of Tarth is even sent after them. But since Ruby's power is to read and control minds, she's able to manipulate people and at one point even sends Captain Phasma on a never-ending cane walk until she stars herself to death which you know i'll be straight this movie keeps everything pretty much pg but this move right here was straight g my only thing with this is that ruby has these dope powers and the movie could be very interesting but a lot of the issues with the young adult genre i guess if you want to call it is that they um they cater to like the Lil Tay demographic. Like this movie has a scene where a full grown man guns down a bunch of children who are trying to escape as they reenact the scene from X-Men. And yet somehow 8th grade was scarier than their apocalypse. The big issue here is that Ruby is worried about her parents because she's just straight Thanos herself out of her parents' memories. Like that movie The Forgotten just bam, completely wiped like a neuralizer. And somehow she can't reverse that. So she's struggling with this immense power that she has in her. And I love that this girl can instantly read memories out of everything she touches. Like that's how powerful she is. Objects, people, doesn't even matter if she's asleep. Yet... You know, this girl be touching a lot of things and she's just fine here and there. They then find some producer's kids who were cast and at first I thought, hey, you know, they just arrived at Riot Fest. But then it turns out that these kids have gentrified the damn apocalypse. Turns out that the president's son, who everyone thought was a traitor, actually has similar powers to Ruby. And he's doing all that he can to gather all the kids and do his best to better help. Come on. You know, this dude's a liar. Look at this guy. He cheated in a game of foosball. Now, I'd be lying if I didn't say that someone in the theater took a nap towards the end of the movie, which ma made it really hard to concentrate. But from what I gathered, they saved the day. By the end of it, it's clear that producers in Hollywood still don't understand that for young adult audiences, the apocalypse shouldn't be about taking showers and still looking great, dancing out in the moonlight as you fall in love as you're camping under the stars. Because that's Electric Fest. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Like I said, this was... I caught this early in the morning, you know, movie pass ain't working anymore. Went over there, got that AMC stubs list trying to get this thing because I had missed a couple of screenings for it. But I'm curious to know your thoughts on this movie. Um, I don't know if anyone's still watching young adult movies, if you actually read the book or whatever had to do with it. I'm curious to know. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will personally produce and make sure that uh, Divergent 4 is funded.